What talents don't you have? Okay, sometimes God has given us real talents, but they're sitting there waiting for us to develop them. How many times have you been told you have so much potential? Perhaps many times. Or perhaps others simply do not see the gifts that God has given you. Thankfully, God sees, and he gives good gifts. These can be various spiritual gifts, tangible blessings, pursuits, hopes, dreams. What do we do with the things the Lord has placed in our court? Colossians 3.17 states, And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Six verses later, we're also called to do everything heartily or with all our might, as to the Lord and not to men. You know, we're supposed to glorify God even as we eat and drink, so it should be a serious pursuit. Developing our talents, working toward dreams God has placed in our hearts, using our gifts to build up the body of Christ and to increase his kingdom. Jesus mentioned the parable of the talents in Matthew 25. Several servants were given various quantities of money, or talents. Do you know that even a single talent was an extremely large sum of money? Even a seemingly measly one is an amazingly valuable thing. The faithful servants took their master's talents and they multiplied them. The unfaithful servant buried his talent. God has given us so many blessings in this life. We often don't recognize all of them. One blessing is that God gives us this life to enjoy. And part of that enjoyment is seeing good fruit come from the gifts and talents that he has given us. So don't bury your talents. We often view the world through the giftings he has placed in our lives. What gifts do you have? How can you use your passions, your talents, and your abilities to glorify God? Whether it's something simple or extravagant, God calls us to faithfulness. Develop your talents and turn your potential into kinetic. Work toward the dreams God has placed in your heart and rely on Him to do the miraculous. In all you do, honor the Father, honor the Son, and honor the Holy Spirit. Amen.